There we go. Excellent. I'm not quite sure <laughs> this is all going to work. We're spending so much money. Sometimes the spaghetti in the city that you're trying to fix is so bad, there's only one thing left to do. He goes back and he's moving to a new house and will have to rely on public Wi-Fi for a couple of weeks until his new internet service is set up. But he's worried about the safety of doing that. He needs to make sure his online connection is safe and secure and his data is protected from all those hackers, the malware and all the phishing scams. That's where NordVPN comes in. NordVPN's advanced encryption technology and threat protection feature will ensure that Hugo can browse the web safely and securely even when he's using public Wi-Fi. Whenever I'm out and about, perhaps at a coffee shop, the library, a hospital or a hotel, I want to make sure that I've done all that I can to protect my connection and my data. So I use NordVPN for that added peace of mind. It encrypts all my data, so even if I accidentally use a fake Wi-Fi, my data is still safe. Hugo loves the peace of mind that NordVPN provides for him, and he's really excited to share it with his new neighbor. So go to my link at nordvpn.com slash biffer now and get the NordVPN two-year plan plus four months free. It's also risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. I think a meteor strike has occurred. Um, what do you think? Maybe that's made the traffic better. It was actually, <laughs> honestly, at 12% uh, before this all started. What's it at now? 15%. Maybe we found a new way to fix our traffic. Okay, well, let's take a look at this city in a little more depth and see what we can do to fix this city. So you probably thought I was going to do this and then reload the city and no, we're not. We're going to oh, jump again. We're going to stick with this. Hopefully we don't lose too much with the flood in. But this was at 12% and that was where the despawning turned off. We've obviously got some cars disappearing because there's no road for them to go to. So that is what's going to happen. But I was just going to delete all of this anyway. I'm quite glad uh, the way it's worked with the, uh, <laughs> the meteors. It hadn't destroyed too much. So hopefully, yeah, that's going to help us out. But this city, Magnitosvik, was sent in by Sports Dude, who basically said the problem is traffic and a whole load of other stuff. It used to be uh, 100,000 in population. It's now down to 53,000. So let's see what we can do. But the first thing I'm going to do is delete all of this spaghetti. So let's just do that. There we go, much less spaghetti than when we started with. You will notice that there's still a lot of spaghetti down here. We will cover that in a moment. So if we just take an, an overview, it'll be interesting to see what the traffic's at. 21% is getting better. Uh, if you take a look, an overview. So we've got it coming in here, coming in here, uh, coming in up here and coming in up here. And what will normally happen when maps are designed like this is any traffic, dummy traffic that wants to come from one side and go to the other side will come through the city. And all of these were all converging on this same point through here which really wasn't great so i think what i need to do first of all is smooth out this land so we haven't got all of these holes everywhere as much as i think you know good fun to keep them all here and to build with them i'm not entirely sure that is what the person who designed uh, this city would like still got some charred black holes in there just <laughs> help us remember what uh, what happened uh, let's do that one. Let's do that one. And hopefully there's another one under here, isn't there? Zoink. We'll fill that one in. There we go. Excellent. And then what I want to do. Oh, it's just looking underground, actually. What have we got under here? 19%. It's gone to, we've got a few little tunnels underneath. Uh, there is also, I was going to mention, there is mass transit. We've got a lot of buses, probably a lot of broken bus lines, which a lot were broken anyway. There was quite a few with zero passengers on. So this, that's all going to go. No trolley buses. No trams. We've got metro lines, some very busy, uh, which is good. Whether some of those are broken or not, we'll have to see. And then nothing cares. And this is pretty drastic. I don't normally go this far with deleted, but things were so bad. I just thought, why the heck not? I don't normally want to do this and just rebuild the city. But when it's this bad, we can have a lesson about road hierarchy. Because from what I've seen, there really isn't proper road hierarchy. And we'll look at that in a moment. Oh, we're having an autosave. Yep, I could really do with a sip of tea. 
Are you after a strong, sturdy mug for your cups of tea? Or coffee, it works for both if you really have to. Well, how about our new Cool Beans mug, now available on BifferPlaysMerch.com. Yeah, just for an example, we have this highway, which will be a highway coming down here. Um, and this road here is a collector. So you can come off the highway, it looks like... Oh, that's for going on. Bad example, but if you could come off the highway and join this road, which you've got it set up for here, this collector goes down here, down here, down here, and then just stops dead. Doesn't sort of collect and go anywhere. And also, yeah, it's the six lane one with the bus lane, so that's not too bad. And this collector down here, so like collector, 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 bang, into a smaller, I mean, it's still four lane, but, and you can see this is a main road up, and there's loads of places like that where it's just massive roads everywhere four lane roads just everywhere no road hierarchy which you know you can sort of see where the game wants to send the traffic so they're coming off down here now because there's no highway and they're just cutting down here so yeah lots to work on lots to work on so how about we put in this highway back through here first decide how we're going to connect that up do you have the ability to buy other squares you do we're going to put some bypasses in in a couple of places so like over here, for instance, yeah, we'll have a junction hopefully here where if they're coming up there, they can go straight out without messing around in the middle here. Right, let's dive into this highway rebuild. So what I'm probably going to do through here is use the raised standard highway. That's this one here. It's a highway with sound barrier. Um, which way have we got these going? Yeah, so down on the left, that's fine. And then we can have some connecting roads underneath. So I'm trying to sort of see where's a good spot to run that through if i go from here and go 10 how high is that whoa flipping that game calm down calm down no let's go a little bit higher there we go excellent so that's up and down and then we're going to have loads of junctions off of here so we're going to clear some space out as well uh, we're going to need some sort of interchange in here. Three-way interchange. Just looking at what's going on. Yeah, okay. Right, so one visit to the workshop later. I've got a load of system and service interchanges. Most of these are made by Max FX. Um, so go and have a look at those. I think these are all Max FX as well. Um, just a little something to note if you're using these and you're searching. If I put into here system interchange... It only shows up a few, and if I put in here service interchange, it doesn't show up many either. Um, but if you use the find it mod and put in system, you get all of them, because I think it searches the description of the name as well, uh, which includes it in there, or it might even see the fact that it's on the thumbnail, which is very clever. And then service, it shows them all up here. So for those that don't know, a system interchange would take one highway and connect it to another highway. And then the service interchanges would be the ones where you come off the highway and start going into these uh, arterial collector rows and things like that. So that is the idea. So trying to find one, I was hoping to be able to get one that had like a, a slopey sort of connection over here. There will be ones that are on the workshop, but I haven't got that. So I'm just thinking maybe one of these little trumpet ones like this would actually work very well. So these have all got lane mathematics. They've all got the intersection marking tool stuff in here, which is absolutely brilliant. You can see coming off of here, if we go into this menu, first time I've opened it since I've loaded the game, you're going to do it. Go on game, you can do it. There we go. Excellent. And this has probably got all of these set up as well. Yeah. So for the merging, absolutely brilliant. That's good. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that one there and we're going to use this tool and say, go from there to there excellent and then we're going to go from i think i've done it the wrong way around haven't i we're going to go from there to there and then we'll switch that other one around there we go and we'll do this and we'll turn oh we need to get rid of that tool there excellent turn all of those around very good that connects that up let me just connect the rest of this up so what i'm doing i want to bring these roads back a little bit i'm just actually adding in another little node here so we still keep this bit with all the intersection marking tool we move those we can sort of swing this back a bit we might be able to get a nice little curve in there and the same over here as well after i've removed some of the spaghetti and this and that and the other there we go and then we'll connect these all up
there we go that's not too bad i've just moved it over a bit so it isn't so um isn't so sharp and then we've got to come through here and have some sort of connection over here as well let's see what we can do not a huge amount of space here but we're going to go and try for this one on the terrain here hopefully that will work yeah that doesn't look too bad i think we should be able to connect these up with a bit of jiggery pokery There we go, all connected up, and then we might just sort of level some of this out a little bit. There we go, that's better. And then we'll go from there to up there. That's fine. I just sort of shifted this around, and it's working okay. Then we're going to do a bit of a arrange at line mode. I'm hoping this works outside the... Yeah, it does. So if we go from there to there, that's much better. And then we can do the same over here. Excellent. Look at that. Looking very good. Not quite the same lane mathematics on here, but we'll worry about that in a moment. And then this sort of connection up here. Yeah, we'll worry about all of those in a second. So that is the main highway connected back up again. So now I want to just put some other connections that i mean for instance we've got this one here these people can actually now go through there without heading through the city they're going from this side to this side or back again so that's okay um this one here is always going to go through the city unless we sort of branch it off somewhere here and add another little i'm just thinking here of adding in just something like a simple diamond interchange would work excellent then we'll just get this all connected up again fantastic lane mathematics we've got all the dedicated lanes and this one here doesn't drop down to two lanes it puts all this hash marking down the side here and probably i would imagine closes that lane off and um, let's have a look oh there's no so if i go like that yeah that works then when it comes back on and then it just drops down so that's fine and we'll do the same over here. Here you go there and here you go there. That works out good. And then it gives us this road coming off of here, which actually, what's that? That's a four lane road. We could then connect that into here somewhere. Um, so I'm just going to go from there to there. There we go. That's fine. And then this one, I'm thinking of making that a six lane road to try and encourage anybody that wants to cut through down to there to do so which is going to go through the mountain. There we go. So I upgraded that to a six lane. Um, I want that to come through and connect here. Oh man, this is a very wibbly wobbly mountain area, isn't it? Okay, let's, just, <laughs> let's see what we can do. And then where are we trying to come out? We're trying to come out to connect down there somewhere. So I'm actually going to just sort of curve that around to here. I'm thinking that's going to be okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sloping down to there. Yeah, there we go. So then if we go to this sort of mode and go straight, I'm hoping we can sort of come out on here somewhere. How does that look? Yeah, we might need to just lift that a little bit. In fact, control H, the same height as that. Yeah, there we go. And then we can go straight into a bridge. And then we're, we're almost there, aren't we? So if it's straight into a bridge. Oh, we've got some rocks in the way. Got to make sure we save all the rocks and the trees. There we go. So I was going to put in exactly the same one. And we'll do a bit of hawky balkiness to get that all connected up. Let me connect... Oh, man. Let me connect these roads up here. I'm just thinking whether we could just lift that whole thing up whether we could just lower this whole bridge down there we go and then we'll sort the heights out so we'll say go from there to there that's not too bad we can live with that there to there that looks fine doesn't it flying into there excellent and then we can connect these up there we go we'll just do this final one let's just move these out a bit so we've got a bit more of a sweep it's going to be a tight turn but i think we're going to have to live with that i want that in that mode there we go so it does eventually go down to the ground and you get the idea i mean we could have maybe moved that around a little bit but that's okay and i think that is all going to work and then we've got this little extra road to head out into there good good i think that is all connected together no, it's not connected together at all so that, that would have done absolutely nothing from there to there there we go excellent 
So hopefully now we'll get people using some of this. We probably need to add... I wonder whether to upgrade this to a six-lane road as well. Do you know what? I think I will. And then we could sort out what's going on with the lanes. Uh, we've got one lane coming up here. So I'm going to grab this one here. And we're going to upgrade that to two lanes where it comes in. We're going to do the same over there. There we go. And then we're going to do a little bit of hawky balkiness. I might just remove the traffic lights and see how it goes. And what we don't want here... Thank you. Remove the traffic lights. What we don't want here is any straight on. So it's literally left or right. If you're going straight on, you do it on the highway. Then we're going to say if you're going off, you've got one lane for that. If you're going off, you've got one lane for that. And then if you're coming over the bridge, uh, you've got one lane for going off as well. And if you're going over the bridge, one lane for going off. This seems rather very slow. Let's just check the speeds on here. What have we got on the highway? We've got 60, 60, 60 everywhere. Up here is 20. That does seem very slow. So we're going to say 40, 40. That's 35. I want this to be a lot quicker than that. So we're going to say this side can be 50. So hold shift and do to there. Over the top, 50. And then this bit here, I want that to be 60 like the highway. Okay, so hopefully what we should see, ignore the traffic up there because we haven't looked at that. I put give way where it comes up onto these. We should start seeing people using this, which we are, which is avoiding all the traffic in the city. How's this one going? Flowing nicely. That's what we want to see. Let's go along here. I know we've got no interchanges coming off that at the moment. We will work on that. That one's going nicely as well. Excellent. Oh, I've done it again. 100% traffic flow. Look at that. I've still got despawning turned off. Look, it has just happened again. Wow. That's it, folks. Thank you. No, I'm only joking. The video doesn't end there, but I love it when that happens. It just shows, yeah. How good I am at the game, doesn't it? Uh, of course. Of course it does, yeah. Right, so while we're trickling along with 100% traffic... Oh, man, that's just amazing. I just want to get rid of some more of the spaghetti along here. So at the moment, it looks like this. And at the end, it's going to look like this. Yeah, do you know what? Actually, there was not as much spaghetti there as I thought there was. <laughs> so we're fine with what's on here. We could do a little bit... Oh, you've done... Yeah, you've done some lame mathematics, sort of. Um, let's just do it. You've, you've, you've gone from three plus one to four, back down to three again. That That's okay. But when you're trying to sort of get rid of absolutely tons of traffic, you'll probably find it'll work better if you do it like this. So you lose a lane when one goes off. Yeah, because this doesn't need to be two coming down here. Thank you for grabbing that for me. And that is two again. Didn't I grab this and it was one? And now I'm trying to upgrade that to one. That is what I'm trying to do. That's one. This is one. This is probably should be two. This one here because it's going to split off. So let's grab that. There we go. And you can have one each way. And then hopefully that will all be okay. Right. So that is the majority of the highway sorted. So now we can sort of start looking at everything else some connections off of here would be good to get into this main part of the city and there used to be a lot so which interchanges are we going to use we're going to use some service interchanges i mean when i first put these in yeah i don't want to do that one here these are going to cause issues i would imagine because there's going to be a whole load of people trying to get off of them and a lot of these i'm not overly familiar with uh what's going on service interchange so, I mean, any of these are some with some nice little roundabouts, but they take up a lot of room. So maybe something like that could go here. Mm, let's have a look. So I'm just thinking we want something here. We're going to treat this road that comes through here as a collector, as one of them. But I'm actually thinking we've got enough space here to add some frontage roads, perhaps, if we remove some more of this stuff along here man it's going to be so much rebuilding in this city and then maybe have some interchanges coming on and off of those and then going into some of the uh the, the collectors that we've got let's try something here with this one so we've got this road here now what we can do if we grab that road there man this is like this is like a whole nother level of building here what is going on it's just like let's have a look at the terrain the terrain lifts up here, but then it also lifts up here in a couple of different levels as well. 
Because what I really want is this road to be able to go underneath here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that to ground level like so with that one. Um, we're going to line that up and just draw that through there. I did click that button. It didn't stay clicked. We're going to do that through there. And then if I do that and do set to that height, how far out are we? We are pretty way out, aren't we? Let's undo that one. So if I did... Let's have a look what we could do here. If I grab this and we're going to do a height from there all the way down to... Well, it's not going to let me go through all those junctions, is it? Okay, we'll do these one at a time. What do we get? 0.8. That's good. So we might have to adjust some of those buildings or they might respawn in. Okay, let's flatten this land out here. There we go. Excellent. I'm not quite sure... <laughs> This is all going to work this side because look at the height of these buildings through here. I'm just wondering whether we could just level this all down and see how that looks. Have we got it all more or less sorted? I think so. It looks like it, doesn't it? Okay, that's good. So now that can get up underneath and that can connect up here. If we remove all of this... There we go. So we've got this connection coming out of there, which is fine. Let's have a look. So this one dead ends and sort of splits into two. So I'll tell you what we're going to do is... Let's just check. Let's forget which way it's going. Up on the left. We're going to turn this into sort of a couplet around here. Um, which road do we want? Five lane one way road. Five lane one way road. No parking. Yeah, we'll go the four way uh, four lane one way, I should say, just because it's the same width. I'd like to go three for lane mathematic reasons, but we're going to do this. So let's just switch all of these around. There we go. And that will meet in there. And then when these two get up here and join, then we can have the road coming out of the middle of here. So we'll have that one go that way and that one go that way. Excellent. And then I'm imagining we'll probably just have our six lane road that we've been using here. That's going to continue through this section. So now we're getting a bit of road hierarchy. So six lane here, down to four lane through the middle. So that hopefully will then tell your traffic. Yeah, we'll keep going which way they need to go. And then when it comes out of here, I'm just going to level this off a little bit if we can. Uh, there we go. A little bit down, a little bit up. There we go. I'm going to turn this off because we've got that on all the time. Yeah, we'll just add our six lane road in there for now. That will do. And then we're going to go out of the middle of this. I'm going to sort all the terrain issues. Don't you worry about that. And that is probably then going to meet into... I mean, I don't even know where to start on here. I'm going to pick this one as the one that's going to be the road coming through because none of the others are standing out as if they're going to be. <laughs> This will be the one. I know there's a road right next to it, but there we go. So we're going to connect those two together. Excellent. So now you can get through. And then what I'm going to do as well is we're going to do this. We're going to go from there to there. Much, much better. The terrain. Oh, my goodness. The terrain. We will work on the terrain in a bit. Right. So then we want to get this road up to connect onto that. much worse and i can't undo that which is a bit of a shame let me just lower that all down again i'm just thinking unless we leave that as a bridge section like that because that is the height of the road and just move that back a bit and then we'll do a bit of terraforming and stuff around there we're going to do a lot of terraforming and stuff around here aren't we yeah maybe we will do and then we can just add a simple little on and off junction on here can't we and hopefully that will give good access and then a traffic light to either ends of this and then upgrading this road let's see how that goes how about this one looks really interesting the a2021 offset spewy service point uh user intro what's the ui stand for i feel like i should probably know what that is but yeah i'm gonna pop this one in here so it ends up looking like this there we go. We've got that one all lined up. I'm not entirely convinced whether this one is going to work. It goes from a six lane down into... Uh, like, this is like, yeah, I can see what's meant to be going on here. 
we might sort of change some of these roads in the middle get some lame maths and stuff going but at the moment we're just going to leave it i'm just going to concentrate on the roads coming on and off the highway um so they get so that spreads out so that's fine so we've done reverse lane mathematics what have we got three into four one comes off this should be three. Oh, it's that little segment there isn't it look let's just change that i don't think that's the right segment we'll go for this one yeah there we go excellent so i've lowered the central section down as you can see we'll do you go there again there we go excellent and lifted this bit up over the top and that's actually working very well it's gonna be very busy by the look of it which is uh what i was sort of expecting so I am wondering whether to do something with this section up here. Do you know what? I'm not going to worry so much about all the traffic. And I'm going to try and keep this as paused as much as I can. But as we can see, lots and lots of problems going on here. Electricity is fine. Water availability, sewage treatment is non-existent. I'm assuming we had some, some, somewhere. We had some, <laughs> some, 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 somewhere. We had some, somewhere. Um, I'm going to pop some off of this road here just to make do for now and then we'll come back and we'll sort that out a bit later let's go for inland water treatment plants a couple of the large ones and see how that does us oh that's what it is it's these isn't it i've unhooked them uh water treatment plants there you go i've solved my own problem didn't even notice it there we go excellent so hopefully at some point we'll start making money and getting more people living in the city. <gasps> We're spending so much money. Right, okay. Um, maybe I just need to do a little bit of terraforming on here. Just looks a little bit more natural. I know these roads are raised, aren't they? Instead of being ground level, but that's fine. I'll sort out the electric cable and then down here... I'm going to just do some dedicated turning and a time traffic light and then we'll just leave that and see how it goes. Hopefully that helps. And then I'm also going to, so we've upgraded that one through there. I'm going to upgrade this one to the six lane again. Then that's going to come through all the other way. We've got our sort of couplet going round here, six lane through there. Okay, so that's good. What are we at traffic wise? Still 100%. So, you know can't be doing anything too badly and then we want an <laughs> another few ways in and out of the city definitely another one here somewhere so i'm just looking at this spot here we've got this uh road that comes up here which i think we can turn into a collector and it joins actually it joins up with this one here doesn't it we can do a little something there and bring that through and then we've got our stadium here which is going to have a lot of people wanting to come down here so i think that'll be a good spot so for a service interchange why not this dog bone interchange we might be able to sort of switch up some of the roads being used and i'm thinking if we sort of take up the space that we've got in here and see how that goes control h down to there excellent and this little bit here will have to obviously change a bit because we've messed this around we've got some nice lane mathematics here as well which is good come on move it more do what you want to do for me there we go so we're going to grab those and just slide those down and then we'll sort of level that out let me connect all of this up and see how this is going to work Okay, so I've got that hooked up in both directions. And then this little thing here, I want to try and sort of sort out. Um, I'm going to remove this roundabout and this road here and that road there. And we're going to just come straight through here. I've never, I, I don't think I've ever done a city fix where I have just destroyed so much stuff to get something working. Um, I don't want that to sort of hook in at a weird angle. Although once it gets through here... Oh, is that... Oh, look at that. That is pretty much lined up. There. We can sort of go with that. And then I can sort of tidy up some of these other little things. Yeah. Waste transfer facility. You are going to get moved with the move it mod. And you are definitely not going to be off the main road. Okay. So that's better going through there. Let's just slopeify this a little bit. So from there to, nope, that's the wrong one. I want that one. You'll give me two tools at once. How dare you? Slopeify. I want to get, oh, I see. The node is not connected. Well, that's not going to help, is it? 
And that's what I want. I want that in there to there. Excellent. We shall try again. So from there down to there. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go with that for now. And don't forget, we are going to be coming through and changing a lot of these roads up anyway, because they're just all a bit weird, aren't they? In this railway line, we can do an arrange at line mode from there to here somewhere. Just have that going straight across. We can do, oh man, all of these buildings. All of these buildings. Okay. And we've got lane maths on here. So where you've got three coming down and then one goes off, you've got two coming through. Um, and then where you've got one coming off up here, one coming off up here, it goes into two. One goes off. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. We might just need to do a little bit of work down. There's, oh man, a little bit of work. There's work everywhere to be done on this map. So we've got a connection here for these. We've got this connection here for this main section. We've got this here um, connecting these two highways. And we've just make and do with that at the minute. And then we've got this one here that comes off up there and this crosses over. So then we need some sort of connection over here. So we've got all of these people, we've got these roads down here that aren't connecting to anything. And I am wondering whether we could have just done something a little bit different here. Or we could buy an extra square and bring the road in entirely differently and sort out your mishmash of stuff that you've got going on here. Let's see if we can... How many squares can I buy? If I buy this one, I'm not going to get connected to here. If I buy that, I can... Okay, we'll buy this one first. And then we'll buy that one. There we go. Excellent. Yeah. So now we can have... Zoink! Some sort of junction coming off here and connect to all of this. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do here. But let me have a look through and see what interchanges I have available. There we go. I think that'll do. We're going to go for nothing too complicated here. So we'll just get this hooked up. There we go, that'll do. And then we can bring this road up and over around here. What sort of road have we got going on there? Yeah, that'll do nicely. Thank you very much. I'm not quite sure what this is going to connect into. I'm just looking at the roads we've got here. So again, we've got this sort of arterial collector coming through here and then just diving into this mess. This is all going to change. And I think that is the road that we do want to connect to. So <laughs> I'm just looking at all of this and thinking, wow. So you've got an international airport. You've got a cargo airport. You've got cargo airport hub. You've got airport. And you've got your Chirpex launch site and your aviation club all in one area. So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to drag. No, that's all connected up, isn't it? I'm going to disconnect all of these. And then we're just going to drag all of them up here out of the way for now. Knowing that they've all got to go back in at some point. And you've also got this over here as well. The space elevator, which is going to give you a load of traffic. So we're going to move that as well. And it looks like we're going to be completely rebuilding this area. Is that a yeah underground metro station? Uh, I'll have to use the move it mod because there's no roads up here to put that up against. There we go. And now we can connect these two roads together. That will do nicely. There we go. And then we've got this area here where we can start working on that to be added in. So hopefully now with that connection, this connection, these connections, this big connection through the areas and all of these other ones. And also this cut through over here that we should eliminate a lot of the traffic from inside here. Uh, my biggest worry is the fact that... We are spending a whole ton of money, but not actually getting any money back again. Oh man, this is just, this is all just going to have to go. Uh, that can actually stay there, but all of this we don't need. And what have we got going on here? Intercity bus terminal. Okay, that's fine. Normally I wouldn't plot these up against um, a big road like this, but at the minute I'm just trying to sort of see what we've got before we dive in and change lots of things. So this dock area is connected, isn't it? <laughs> it is connected over here. Yep, yeah, okay, that's fine. What have we got here? Road maintenance depot, you can come down here. What have we got there? Helicopter depot. Oh, good grief, helicopters to sort as well. And we're going to leave that. Okay. 
Woo! Is this city even going to survive? Good gravy. So I'm just wondering whether a quick unpause um, is going to... I mean, I know there's a lot of stuff that's disconnected, but we've still got the weird 100% traffic bug, so we do need to unpause at some points. Um, this is this is a completely different day I'm recording this. We're now... I don't think I mentioned it in the first half of this video, but we are now moving house. <laughs> and it's suddenly like two weeks away instead of almost a month away, which is what we thought it was going to be originally. And I've reloaded the game. We've still got the 100% traffic. But did I say bug? I didn't mean bug. Of course I ain't a bug. No, 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 no. This is exactly what happens when you're uh, amazingly good at fixing people's cities. <laughs> so, yes. Um, I think I just need to let it run a bit. We're making money again. Fantastic. And just let things unfold a bit and hopefully grow a bit. We're growing as well, which is good. Nice to see that this one's working well, although they do slow down a bit here and they're doing a bit of hawky balky lane switching. Although I don't think we can do much about the hawky balky lane switching because we're going from one lane to two. But I am wondering whether we could just give them a little bit more of a turning circle, make it a bit smoother. Let's put that back to what it was. If I just move that back and that out. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Trying to get them not to slow down as much. Yeah, maybe. And then what did we put in here as regards to... Oh, we put giveaway signs, didn't we? Do you know, if I just take those off... Yeah, they're just going to keep going. Okay, that's good. That works a lot better. Uh, what have we got going on down here? So we want everybody to keep going. That's fine. Yeah, it's just the amount of traffic down here, isn't it? Which is causing an issue, which we expect. But at least we've got the extra lanes for coming off. Going through here is super busy. And then going down here, super busy. Coming off up here, super busy. And then they're all sort of mergifying and doing some weird hawky balkiness down here. So what I'm going to just do there is say, you have to go over there and you can change later. And then I'm going to use the in-game tool here. Let's just move that one out of the way. There we go. And see where most of these people are going. So a lot... And, well, why is that not showing? There we go. It's just catching up, wasn't it? There we go. We'll do that. So most of them are coming down here. And then they want to just spread out into this area here, which is fine. So I'm wondering if we could just help them out a little bit here. Because the roads coming off of this section just don't seem... Oh, this is the one I want for you. Just don't seem enough. Four lane, two way road. If we pop that in there. That in there. We've got one there anyway i'm going to do it again and then i bet this roundabout isn't even set up control shift left click no and what have we got coming off of here a police station and a fire station i spotted so no they're going to move down here don't build on your roundabouts it really doesn't help um and a medical clinic yeah that's going to come out of there as well so now a lot of them are bypassing this and going down there why is that does it put some Ooh, and there's a weird little node right there just move that back a little bit yeah and then they're all just going to sit looking at each other because there's so much other problems going on okay that's fine well at least hopefully we'll help them get in and out of there a bit quicker and even though i did set up the oh it didn't do it did it did it do give way or anything? i did control shift left click and it just didn't do anything well that's weird isn't it so normally that's give way that's give way Let's give way. That's fine. And this is give way. But what I was going to do was do this one here and turn that off. So they, they just keep moving. Um, and also that only needs to be two lanes. Three lanes is just causing all sorts of problems. So let's just downgrade that. Boink. Like so. And then let's just slightly tidy this up a little bit. And that only needs to be two over here as well. So let's do that one. There we go. Anyway, yeah, so if that sort of goes down a bit, that's going to maybe slightly help other places. Maybe. Still 100%, so not going too bad. All right, let's just leave this running. We are growing. We are making money. 
So while things are running, I'm just upgrading some of these roads here. Um, we've got, I mean, the lane mathematics is sort of non-existent. We could do with more lanes coming in and out of this one. Um, I've upgraded this to six all the way along just to give us plenty of options. And then, of course, we just need to play with the lanes here. Uh, we don't want anybody going straight over, so they're just going to go left and right. Um, and that's the same over here, because if they're going straight over, they can just take the highway. Um, and then we've got a couple of weird places where they, this is the one I want, where they sort of stop, uh, which we do get from time to time. So with mods, we can say keep on going through and don't stop. And here, keep on going through. I'd like to, let's have a look. Yeah, they all come from different places. I was going to force them to stick in their lane, but they're going to need to sort of change and go one way or the other. And then what have we got here? Do we have a traffic light? We do. Um, let's have a look at these as well. So I will probably change these and say one for each. And then over here, we'll do one for each as well. So left, right, and straight on. So dedicated lanes. I mean, it might just be too much traffic all coming through this one junction here. But I think with the traffic lights that we've got, we should be okay. And then if we give them priority down this road here. So this, we've got another six-lane road. You've got a really bad road hierarchy. In fact, non-existent in a lot of places, which then just confuses the traffic. The traffic doesn't like it. What's this line coming out of here? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that you have to give way and you have to give way. And then when we get down here, you have to give way. But hopefully all of this can just keep moving. And then we're going to say here, stay in your lane. Hugo there. Excellent. And then we're going to do dedicated turning lanes there. Although we might adjust that. We'll see how it goes. And we also, I am going to change this. The left hand turn is very short. So we're going to make that left and straight on um, and also here as well as you're not cutting across the traffic so we're getting double lanes for straight on well this has gone down this bit up here this one down here a little bit slow on the uptake and this is a bit slow on the uptake because there's a lot going on what i'm going to actually do here is i'm going to upgrade this to four all the way along hopefully that will just help but i mean there's a lot going on there's a lot of things that need finagling and adjusting but if we have a look this little junction here hopefully that will just sort of keep bumbling along and not be too bad yeah i mean it's moving all right there's a lot coming off the highway which is causing sort of backups but we'll see let's just actually see what the traffic is at the moment 49 percent. there we go so we're no longer got the weird trafficness of 100 percent and we no longer have whatever it was when we started so it is getting better we are making money and we're growing fantastic so probably the biggest problem we've got at the moment is passenger cars so private vehicles on the road i've just selected this little segment here and we can see most of it is cars going everywhere because we've utterly destroyed uh, the mass transit network if we have a look in here there's probably Mm, I've suspected more to have the little symbol that shows they're not working or not connected. But they're not showing that. But I know they're broken. If we come out of this, come out of this, come out of that, and go into here, and go into... Oh, there we go. Look, all the broken lines. Block, block, block. Line not connected. Line not connected. Yeah, so that is going to be a huge job. And as soon as we do that, that will make a big difference as well. And I'm just looking at your metro so we've got yeah some metro connection i probably could just hook straight back up again but i think that's going to be a bit of a complete redo as well as that area over there hey look at that only a few minutes later and this is all cleared up and this is all cleared up so there we go a little bit of lane mathematics and some traffic lights and giving the cars an option to get out and leave a junction as quick as they can has been really helpful so that's helped in this area obviously going the other direction we've still got this problem here i'm probably going to upgrade this dog bone to have more lanes but the biggest issue is all the traffic coming up here is just clogging up so i've set up this roundabout now to have the proper giveaways i put a couple of time traffic lights but we've got all of the buses getting stuck coming down here and where else is it all going let's just have a look what is going on here look this is all this dead end traffic is that all <laughs> oh they're just coming down here to turn around oh, wow, there's millions of buses 
millions there's literally millions of buses i tell you what we're going to do we're going to save this one and we're going to continue with it in the next city fix because boy it is a big one what would you like to see me tackle next in the city let me know in the comments below and subscribe so you don't miss out on all the city skyline videos coming your way have a great day thank you for your support take care bye, -bye.